Now, this formula that we just found for summing up the first n integers, notice that we have to start with 1. So if, we ask, if we're asked to sum up these integers from 5 to 31, we're not starting with 1, so we have to be a little bit tricky as we do this. So there are a couple ways to do this. One might be to say, well, um, this, I'm going to start with 5, and then I'm going to get 6, and then 7, and so on up to 31. So I could add those up by hand, but that would be kind of hard. But here's an idea. If I were to take the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus and so on up to 31. So if I would start at 1, then all I need to do is to remove this part. So I just need to take away the, the sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and I'll be okay. So that way I could do it this way. I could start with 1 and go to 31. But then I could remove the sum from 1 to 4 of i. OK, and now both of these, so whereas this formula didn't apply here because the starting index wasn't 1, now, now the formula does apply to each of these. There's just a different value of n for each. So from the first one, um, in the first one, n is 31. So we get 31 times 31 plus 1 would be 32 over 2 minus, in this case, n is 4. So we get 4. We get 4 times 5 over 2. And with a little simplifying here, 2 goes in there 16 times. So we have 31 times 16 minus uh, 2 goes in here twice, so minus 10. And let's see, we can multiply that pretty easy. 3 times 16 is 48, so we have 480. And 1 times 16 would be another 16. And take away 10 leaves 486 for the sum. There's another way to apply this formula, and that would be to re-index so that we use a different index. But with that index, what we want to do is um, have the index start at 1. So starting from what we have, our index starts at 5 and goes to 31, we can do a little substitution. So the substitution that we're going to do is I'm going to make a new index. I'll call it k. And I want when i is 5, I want k to be 1. So basically, I'm going to make k be i minus 4. That way, when i is 5, then uh, k is 5 minus 4. That's 1. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this with a new index. So my new index k, I chose it so that when, when we start out at i equals 5, then k is actually 1. When we end with i equals 31, then k is 31 minus 4. That's 27. And then now i, I need to write that in terms of k. Well, k is i minus 4. So if I solve for i, i is k plus 4. So I have this sum. Now, um, now the starting index is 1. We're going to get exactly the same answer, but we can uh, break this up into two sums. So k equals 1 to 27 of k uh, plus the sum from k equals 1 to 27 of 4. Now, each of these can be found quickly from specific formulas for, for these types of, of, uh, of series. So. Um, let's see, in this case, we're just adding up the first 27 integers. And so we know from this formula that you're going to get n times n plus 1. 27 plus 1 is 28, all over 2. And then here, if you, if you add up 4 27 times, you're going to get 4 times 27. Let's see, I can simplify a little bit here because 2 goes into 28 14 times. So if I factor out the 27, I have 27 times 14 plus 4. So I have 27 times 18. And let's see. Um, 20 times 18 would be 360. And 7 times 18 would be 70 plus another 56 would make um, 126. And when I add those two together, 36 and 12 make 48, so 486 for my answer. Both ways work for calculating that sum.